Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. And today, uh, I'm doing a scenario sent in by Paladin of Argyle. And uh, this is being recorded live on Twitch, as usual. Uh, so, <laughs> if you hear me interacting with uh, Twitch chat and things like that, then uh, that's what's happening. It's the game, not the mouse. No, it's not the game, uh, because it does it to me in Factorio as well, uh, which is the game I've been playing off screen. Uh, so, we have USA versus Japan. Uh, so, basically, we are being attacked by the uh, Japanese. And I have a budget, which I always find interesting in scenarios. So, I'm told I must pick the Heavy Cruiser 1, first of all. And then it must have a cost between 20 and 30 million less is better. So we're kind of going for 20, uh, closer to 20 than 30 um, is the brief, but we can go up to 30. So I'm actually wondering about doing a, no, it's one, it's one size. So we'll go for, we'll go for this. Well, it's not one size, but there are two. It's not a third size is what I mean. Right, let's go for, the cheaper uh, tower. Thank you very much there for the sub, Cameron uh, Ulus, if that's right. Thank you, thank you. Uh, right. Very kind of you. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Oof. Cost. Yeah, let's just go with the cheap one. Towers is always a good place to save a little bit of money. Why aren't you sticking? Only time the towers don't stick together is when I want them to, right? And they always stick together when I don't want them to, right? I don't even know if that's the right phrase, but... There we go. Yeah, there, there's... Um, they're, they're, they are a little bit generic, the heavy... The, interwar cruisers. I think they're just waiting on getting some more hulls uh, for them, really. Um, let's go oil. Uh, wrong gear turbines. Pretty much 40 smoke. So you could go for a double funnel. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, have I ever tried Anno 1800? I have not. Because uh, it's not on Steam. Um, I would certainly try it, Trifon. Uh, you watch me on YouTube. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Sub for appreciating for the YouTube content. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Uh, right, gun wise, we're going to go with nines and duels. Doesn't say I have to stick to treaty limits or anything like that. And secondary guns, I think we'll go, well, what if it fits really? Four inch duels, that'll, that'll do very nice. And that's probably it, to be honest, armament wise. Uh, we'll see if we can fit some two inch guns in there. Yeah, we can. Good stuff. Oh, and some singles. There we go. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm going to drop the range just for this particular scenario. Speed is... Oof. Oh my goodness, thank you very much for the sub Private Pershing. That is very, very kind of you indeed. 26 knots seems a little slow. What about uninduced boilers? 30. That seems very respectable. Let's get an Orcs Diesel. Best armor. We don't want a radar system, even though it is expensive. Same for sonar. Uh, I think I'll go for semi auto loaders just for the cost. Uh, flash fire chance 3%, 23 million. Yeah, they're about the same. 
Let's go Chew Powder Super Heavies. A uh, bit of a weird choice for a cruiser battle. How is that an half weight offset? But it's a pretty... Uh, sometimes game, you are very confusing. There. It looks a bit weird now, but at least it's not un completely unbalanced. Um, I prefer the barbette protection, so not that expensive. All or nothing will add a lot. And flooding is cheap enough. So it's reinforcing the bulkheads. Maximum bulkheads are a little bit more expensive, but we're doing okay. Uh, Twenty-six million, so we're kind of in the middle of our um, our budget there. No changing my armor setup, Semper. Okay, fine. <laughs> Semper has banned an in-game uh, action. That's fine. I can do. I can do that. Seven, three and a half, three and a half, one and a half. It's okay for a cruiser. Bad average. Uh, torps I could do, but I'm already over budget. Well, I'm not over budget, but I'm right in the middle of the the budget. Yeah, I, I, you're right, buddy. Has a knife. Um, TNT, regular TNT is actually really nice, and I should use it more. Uh, most of the time, you're going for that extra damage on the high TNT, twelve uh, percent rather than eight, um, and they're very high on the HE shell, so it really buffs your secondaries quite a lot. Um, but regular TNT is just as, is arguably better in many ways. Right, we might as well go for a triple bottom hull. Uh, an anti torpedo four, and then I'm just going to reduce the displacement a bit. Really, you might be saying yes because by reducing the displacement, I reduce the cost a little bit, which not really important in most custom battles, but in naval academy missions, you're uh, you're pretty good. So there we go, 27 million. I am under my 30 million budget. Uh, I haven't gone all the way down to the 20 end, but I think that's okay. Uh, any ideas for names? It's a cruiser. US should be named after a city. Um, uh, Tree Frog asks, are you going to do a series of the campaign? Yes, absolutely. So my plan is I will keep doing the custom battles, user scenarios and stuff, and I will add in an additional series on the campaign. Yes, definitely. Go big or go home. Yep, absolutely. Milwaukee, done. Is that spelled right? <laughs> Paris, a city. Yeah, uh, I forgot what state Paris is in, but there is a Paris somewhere. <laughs> Paradise City. <laughs> That's a good one, aren't you? Right, so I have, well, I'm outnumbered, but I have a better, I have four years tech advantage. And we'll just have to see what the AI comes up with. USS Venice, again, it's a good one. Again, I don't know what state Venice is in, but I know that it is a, it is a place in the USA. It's in Florida. Thank you, Tree Frog. So, our heavy cruiser, some lights, which look really odd. Uh, Japanese ships actually look okay. Apart from the, maybe the destroyer, the destroyer looks a bit weird. So, let's have a look at our own, let's have a look at our own fleet, see what the AI has dreamt up. We have the Portland. Oh, why? My god. Minimum bulk hits? No, standard. Okay. These are 90 million. Why? Look at those torpedo launchers. I really don't like those. This A turret is. Why is the, Well, why is there no A turret? First of all. <laughs> why is this here? Why is that not on the barbette? 
which is all, all the things, right? Okay. How many of those have I got? Four. Great. We've got the Oklahoma, Huntington, or Huntington, I guess. Hunting, hunt, Huntington? That's how I'd, uh, I'd pronounce it in English. Um, like with an English accent. Phoenix and Portland. Okay. Then we have the Stockton, Hazelwood, and Dyson. Let's have a look at them. Four inch guns, plenty of torpedoes. Wow. One shot though. Yeah. Single shot tops. Okay. And the Japanese, what have you got? See, now that's a little bit more reasonable. Torpedo launchers, I'll need to be careful of those. Uh, submarine. <laughs> can't, I can't see the other ship's kit, can I? Oh no, there's one here. Light cruiser, which part aside from this is so it's kind of okay. More torpedoes. Ugh, so many torpedoes. Right, okay. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm just going to do this. And put them on normal and get them all to just screen the heavy cruiser. Right, let's go. It look, does that look like a US heavy cruiser? I mean, it was slightly unusual with the dual guns, I suppose. Most American ships preferred the triples, but... I don't know. Might prove useful. Certainly have good accuracy. Venice is a part of LA. Ah, yeah, that, that rings a bell. Alarmingly little freeboard. Yeah, I don't think this would handle particularly well in a rough sea. <laughs> or at least... I think it would be pretty wet. <laughs> there's no sextuple turrets. No, sadly, uh, uh, there's no sextuple nonsense <laughs> for Tillman's yet. Yeah. Do early hurt cruiser hulls look pretty bad? Yes. So do a lot of the pre-dreadnought hulls. <laughs> right, what's the enemy up to? Yeah, coming straight at us. Okay. Still out of range. About 22 kilometers out. Hmm. Well, that's the th that's that's what I find really interesting about this era of uh, well the the early period of this game, but you know nineteenth century warship design after you know the very successful design of the wooden sh ship of the line starts to become less viable and then obsolete. Some of the wacky and crazy nonsense that um, people came up with trying to adapt to the new technology and it's 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 really oh nice hit it's really uh interesting to to look at that that's a really good hit put the destroyer yeah, good. so if they're content to come at me i'm content to shoot for them as they come in must mean they have short range torpedoes, which again suits me absolutely fine. Uh, unlike most of my heavy cruiser designs, though, this is not a super armored brawler, so yeah, I'm gonna take damage from them if they shoot at me. Which, of course, they will. Screen on save with the torps and get them to smoke up. They are actually screening, even if these ships are lagging behind a little bit. Torpedoes spotted. Where away? Oh dear. Uh, 
the dice. Detach. Ow. Go aggressive because you're about to die horribly. Um, Phoenix. I'm just going to have to manually do this. I, I do wish that there was a button or an order or something you could do for ships in formations to just avoid torpedoes, please. Um, but don't break up your formation to do so. That would be really, really nice. Okay, Phoenix, there's a gap there which you can head for. I think Dyson will be okay. Oof. Well, not from the gunfire, anyway. Right, there we go. Uh, Stockton. Looks like she's... Uh, Sailing into the middle of those torpedoes, which is just fabulous. Is anyone else even further back? No. Good, good. Right. Ugh. <laughs> Would you like to know more? Yes, I, 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 I wrote that particular message. <laughs> As you might have guessed, I'm, uh, I love Starship Troopers. I think that's a, that's a really, really cool film. Huh. Why is she going to get a torpedo hit? Yeah. I know there's a gap, which that cruiser probably can fit in. Nope. Two hits. Very nice. Good job, Dyson. Uh, you may now retreat. Right, Milwaukee, I want you to start firing on your opposite numbers in the heavy cruisers. Well, that's surprisingly uh, not the worst thing. Uh, more torpedoes coming out. Uh, probably fired at the light cruiser Phoenix. Again, if I can persuade the Japanese ships to fire their torpedoes kind of at the light cruisers and destroyers. That is fine by me. Uh, Phoenix. Thank you. It's, uh, uh, these things just constantly spitting them out though. Really irritating. Right. Again, the problem here is my attention is going to start getting divided. I'm not going to see torpedo launches from over here. Right. Come on, we just need to score a hit. Oh yeah, the sequels are awful. <laughs> we don't speak of those. <laughs> Number of torpedoes coming out from these uh, Japanese light cruisers is bonkers. Right, you know what, Phoenix? Just turn around. <laughs> Huntington, you can you can do the same. Dyson, <laughs> please don't get hit by a torpedo in the in the bottom. Because, uh, I'd kind of like you to live, given that you did quite well. I suppose you can get a nice photograph of the Japanese torpedo for the uh, <laughs> war, uh, board of ordnance or whoever it is that's interested in these things. Ugh, right. Come on. Let's get going. Are they going to add modding to Ultimate Admiral? Um, so the thing to realize about Ultimate Admiral, and it, I, I know I say a lot, but <laughs> the dev team is very small. Very, very small. Um, I think they're open to the idea of modding. It is 
simply that that requires resources and time and effort um, that they just don't have at the moment. So we might see modding at some point. Um, I think it would be very cool. Uh, I would love to see just like the ability to share ships you've made on the workshop. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, adding mod support, I mean, should be doable. I think the game's built in Unity, so um, you, you would think they would be able to do that. Uh, thank you very much for the follow there. Uh, not as uh, um, <laughs> not as Erg man, is that right? Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I have real like trouble reading. <laughs> yeah. All right, Fedosenko. Day of sport camp. Good lord. Yeah. Have a have a good evening. Have a good uh, have a good one. What kind of rate sonar have they got? Hydro two. You know what, Stockton? Chukai? If you get a shot, you can take it. Huh. Have we found a weakness, perhaps? I hate how my fleet's been split up, though. Uh, Japanese have funky secondary turrets? Yeah, they do. Smoke. It's one of these weird battles where the enemy... Yeah, no. Stop them, no. Go aggressive. Get those torpedoes in the water, please. Got the range, kind of. Ow! Nope. God damn it! I know, so I wouldn't close in, but <laughs> I am. Uh, got to get some form of actual decisive action out of this. Japanese are not wanting to play ball today. Is there any value in single DD guns once you unlock twins and triples? Uh, saving money and cost. Um, and weight, sorry. Um, no, doubles, doubles and triples are definitely more effective. How far away are you now? 9-9. Nine, nine. Get some hits, please. Yeah, there we go. Of course, flooding. There are massive problems, too. Ow. Of course, I take a hit immediately. For the sake. Right, Hazelwood. I'm going to detach you. Get in there. If you auto design a ship, it won't change displacement. Yeah, it seems to... Well... I don't know how it chooses the displacement, but I have like set the displacement and then press all to design it. It's changed it. Yeah, uh, single turrets do actually work very well. Um, their their main issue is space. <laughs> I uh, I ran the numbers on it. Um, if you could get eight single turrets, it's it's more cost effective in terms of displacement and ultimate admiral dollars than the other setups which is crazy Hazelwood no oh you just talked to destroyer you idiot you did send some towards the heavy cruiser supposedly uh, we shall see if that is a success I doubt it somehow Goodbye, Hazelwood. 
Oh, I've been here. Yeah, scored a hit on the Ashigara, which is actually surprisingly heavily damaged. Just hit her a few more times than I realised. Light cruisers trying to contribute, but failing miserably. Wow, we hit the destroyer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. Should have brought more torpedoes. Okay, they fired. Oh shit, they fired at me. I did not see a warning. Milwaukee. Turn. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, triple and quad mounts have uh, accuracy debuff penalties. Oh, nice, Milwaukee. That is very nice. Hard port turn. See, this is the problem when you have these kind of battles where your attention is divided. Absolutely going to make mistakes like that. Should never have let the torpedo sneak up on me that close. They have fired again. Not starboard. I'm starting to run out of shells. The other thing I hate about this type of engagement, you know, long range shooting match, um, you end up just wasting all your shells. Um, and uh, you get these really indecisive engagements, which actually is probably fairly historically accurate. But it doesn't stop it being less frustrating. <laughs> Uh. Come on. I did pick nine inch to avoid the Italian turrets, you're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> they look so bad, especially on American ships. It's wrong. Good hits. Oh, this is agonizing. Come on, give me some good hits. Flooding. Not in the right place, though. Flash fire, that's more like it. How did they use Cordite? Ah, the age old Cordite versus tube powder. Battle? Never really goes particularly well for Cordite. Secondary guns are focused on the Sakawa. Um, that looks like. Where are these? The light crews are just so slow. <laughs> slow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey there, Dex Bex Dex. How you doing? See, now I have to take on a completely fresh heavy cruiser. Yeah, all all, um, all all the single guns have surprisingly good accuracy. The trouble is they take up an enormous amount of space. They also boast very good rates of fire. Uh, the trouble is getting enough of them. Now, supposedly that light cruiser is firing some torpedoes, but those might have been the ones that I dodged earlier. Come on, Milwaukee. Yeah, all oh, that was good. Took out the main gun. Uh, front one. Very nice. No, again. no, no, that's bad. <laughs> that's very bad. We detected enemy torpedoes, apparently, and no idea where they are. Milwaukee's still going though. Despite losing a turret. What did cause that? Nine inch yeah. There's a nine inch hit. Right there went into the magazine. 
which was through the extended belt because I was allowed to change my armor scheme and because I went for the small hull, these the front and back turrets are on the extended, not the main belt. Stop turning back such a cowardly AI today. <sighs> uh, sorry, uh, John Craig, uh, auto mod is uh, being particularly stupid today. Will you two stop kissing and get into the fight? Right, Oklahoma, that light cruiser, torpedoes, fire when ready, fire now, thank you. Uh, Milwaukee, yeah, suffering, but uh, still going. Despite losing most of the front of the ship. Uh, who's kissing? <laughs> uh, Huntington and Phoenix were kissing in the back instead of doing their jobs. Light cruisers are useless. They did take out an enemy light cruiser already. Chokai is just doing the most annoying thing. As soon as I fire on her, She's turning away. Uh, I suppose she's also being clever, but uh, that's equally annoying to say. It's gonna have. To, I'm gonna have to do this with the light cruisers. Jesus. Speaking of light cruisers, that one just fired a whole bunch of torpedoes. Have another walkie. It's gonna be pretty hard to avoid them. Oh, no, 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 he fired more. I shouldn't have moved. Ow. That might be terminal flooding. The walkie's still alive. We did hit the uh, light cruiser with our own torpedo, though. So, you never know. Might be a success. Did launch a torpedo right before it sank. Which I think was aimed at the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee can avoid. Thank you, auxiliary diesel engine. But sinks. God damn it. Did do very well. Did do very well indeed. But sadly. Just a little bit too much damage. Mostly caused by my own incompetence. Right, Portland. Um, you know what? Agara, if you get a chance, you can shoot it. <sighs> Tis but a scratch. Inconceivable! <laughs> uh, I'm only 18 away from 500. I know, it's crazy. I'm currently on 482 followers on Twitch, which is mental. Um, I was going to do something for 500. I'm going to actually have to think about what that's going to be. <laughs> it's hoping a game would come out or something. I'd be like, yeah, check out this new game that I'm going to cover. Portland fired some torpedoes. It's had torpedoes fired at it. like we're firing on the Chokai. No idea if we'll hit. The Gara has spotted the torpedoes. Um, which, again, is annoying, but okay. Where's Huntington go? God damn it. Like cruisers. Jesus. Get really fed up <laughs> of these Japanese light cruisers, they're really annoying me now. <laughs> Looks like uh, Chikai has avoided. 
Uh, they're also faster than my light cruisers, which is just fabulous. More torpedoes coming out towards Portland. Portland, do you have any torpedoes loaded? Also, avoid. Jeez. If you have anything, fire it at the Nagara. My god, those crews are bad. Look at the turning slowdown. Jesus. That's why they're suffering. Got massive turning slowdowns. Ugh. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go this way. Yeah, there we go. A ammo detonation. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, caused by a six inch gun from one of their light cruisers. Uh, thank you very much for the sub, Tree Frog. Very, very kind. Two months? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And another ammo detonation. Ooh. Of course, their cruisers have maximum bulk kids as well. Uh, Phoenix fires torpedoes. Hopefully to finish her off. Don't fire any more. Uh, might get a hit. Yeah, there we go. Put it down. Lovely. Okay, that destroyer is firing at my at the Oklahoma. Some starting to be able to concentrate the cruisers again. Although, I'm not even sure what my plan is at this point. I can't do anything to the Chukai. It's almost out of ammunition anyway. Um, I basically would need her to come extremely close to me. Right, Portland tops off. Oklahoma, your tops are already off. Uh, it looks like you just miss, miss getting friendly torped. <laughs> Oops. Okay, this destroyer is out of torpedo ammunition. Kill it. Can secondary splash fire? No, but they can. Well, maybe they can actually. But they can ammo detonation for sure. They can get ammo detonations on them. I don't know if they can flash fire. That cruise is firing at me. How are you not hitting that destroyer? Cabono. There we go. Destroy down. Uh, we've got the also got the Yakukaze over there. Then we've got the ya Yahagai and the Kiso, which seem to be just leaving. Yeah, I think the only uh, ships interested in the destroyer and uh, the Neodo over there, who's uh, trying to talk me. Try and talk them back. Torpedoes are not very good at hitting uh, perfectly healthy ships, though. It's what I'm starting to come to the conclusion of. Yeah, better used to uh, eliminate already damaged ships. Jesus Rimini Christ. Right, Oklahoma, you're about to die. Because <laughs> I spotted that way too late. Uh, I think your only chance is to just outrun them. Because of your dreadful turning speed. Okay, now you can turn. And maybe avoid that last one. Oh my god, that's close. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, good. Good job. <laughs> uh, 
Yakakazi does have one torpedo left. But uh, I uh, might be able to fire it. Yeah, there we go. No, thank you. Okay, destroy it down. That's good. Oh, jeez. Flash fire, flash fire. <laughs> Hello there, uh, Major Light Frosh. Is that right? Torpedo beat intensifies, yeah. Quite. Not my favourite activity in the world, but um, needs must. Now I've got my uh, three cruisers here. I'm actually one, two. So it's this one, this one, and this one. Uh, what the fuck did that do? I just don't know what it just did. They've actually disappeared. That's weird. What? That that that's a bit bizarre. I don't know what I don't know what I just did, but they're now in a magic formation, and I can't issue orders to them. <laughs> there we go, Phoenix, go that way. What the hell? It's a bit of weirdness there. Yeah, I can click on things down here. I can't. Oh, wow. Okay, I think I broke the game. <laughs> Oops. Oklahoma's put itself in a division? How? Oh my god. Whoops. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> this is Cleon. Chris Crystal's captain. Yeah, they're not up to the job. No, definitely not. Um, well, I'm probably going to end the video in a second because it looks like the Neodo is disengaging. I'm going to order these guys to disengage somehow, even though that division system makes no sense to me. Chukai is well out of the fight. Don't even know where the other two cruisers have gone. So we lost our heavy, which is a bit a bit of a blow. Um all four of the light cruisers are still alive. Lost all our destroyers. Uh they lost a heavy cruiser three of their lights or is it more yeah three of their light cruisers and all of their destroyers so mm, draw <laughs> kind of um but yeah i'm gonna call it here and uh if you're watching this on youtube i'm going to wish you a good time what what i'm gonna talk to you next time when i have words and can speak <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll see you next time for some more Ultimate Apple Chronicles. Bye bye. Oh, and the, well, a torpedo hit right at the end there. Great. Well done, Oklahoma.